Hey guys, happy Wednesday. Thanks so much for tuning in. If you are catching this on the replay, what you're going to want to do is drop me a hashtag replay in the comments below. You're going to actually know that you guys are on a replay because the box in the top corner that's red and says live is no longer there. So that's how you're going to know if you guys are on replay. Hey Chris, hey Robert, Tina, how are you guys doing? <laughs> hey Ashley. So for those of you that don't know who I am, I'm actually Alexis Easton. I'm a nutritionist and one of actually the first to join this awesome new company that I'm with. If you are brand new and you have never seen my bright and shiny happy face, I want you to drop the comment new below just so that I can thank you. Um, after the video is over, and um, thank you for tuning in and checking me out, all right? So while we're actually waiting for people to jump in, um, if you are tuning in live, if you could do me a favor and drop me a hashtag that just says, hey, Blondie. And that way I can uh, know that this is working. If you guys can drop me some hearts or some thumbs up, anything like that, just to let me know that the sound's working you can hear me okay. All right? So uh, if uh, everybody could take two seconds and just click anywhere on my face. You can click on my nose, my ear, anywhere. Um, and what's going to happen is a box is actually going to pop up from the bottom. And what I want you to do is just make sure that um, it says following because I don't want you to miss out on anything. Facebook changes this like all the time. Um, also, go ahead and hit the share button. I think it's in the left hand corner. I promise I'm always going to give you guys valuable information and the stuff that's going to be valuable to anybody that you share that's on your friends list. Cool? So we'll get started, and what I actually wanted to uh, talk to you guys about is um, 10 comment or 10 tips, rather, <laughs> that are going to help you to live longer. So a lot of these people have heard before, but I'm just going to throw them out there and let me know if you guys have questions or if you find this valuable, all right? So um, tip number one. You need to move around at least 30 minutes a day, okay? I'm not saying you have to go to the gym, but, you know, some people don't like the gym. But, you know, what you want to do is find something that you enjoy. So maybe it's a sport that you like to play. Maybe you like to play baseball or softball or go bas play basketball or run. Whatever it is, just find something that you like to do and uh, and then just do it. And I'm looking at my notes. That's why I keep looking over. <laughs> um, so just being active 30 minutes a day can make tremendous, tremendous value on your health. Number two is you're going to educate yourself about the food you eat. There are like so many documentaries and all kinds of stuff. I mean, you can go on Netflix, YouTube, anything you want to, and you can see all kinds of documentaries about um, different research that's going on about the food that we eat, especially in the United States. Um, there's also a lot of myths and bad information you can find out there too. So don't rely strictly on one website or just Googling something because it's not always going to be correct. The best thing to do is if you are Googling this and trying to find information on the internet, because there is good content on the internet, um, you know, just kind of sort through and figure out, you know, find out about macronutrients and um, calories, you know, research about how to build muscle, how to lose fat. Um, not necessarily how to lose weight, but how to lose inches, maybe. Um, so just kind of be smart about what you are um, learning and then implement that into making good decisions. Now, leading right into that is going to be tip number three. Tip number three is going to be meal planning. Even better if you can meal prep. I am not a meal prepper person. I hate doing it. Um, so a meal plan is just as good because if you got down exactly what you want to, you know, have for the week, you know, breakfast, lunch, dinner, you can make wiser choices and better decisions. They're going to be healthier for you. Um, and that way you're not getting things with a lot of major carcinogens and all that good stuff. Okay. Gotta put notes. <laughs> all right. So my favorite one on this list is tip number four. Sex. <laughs> so hopefully, you know, none of you guys get offended by this. Um, but what I mean by sex is loving, meaningful sex, not going out and having one night stands or just a fling here and there. I mean, um, having sex actually has a lot of beneficial hormones in your brain. And, uh, 
when you have that, you know, weakened fling, it can actually turn into like a an addiction. Like there's people that are have sex addictions, and that can become negative in your life, and that's not good. So you want to have meaningful, loving sex. So focus on forming like those loving and intimate relationships. Okay. All right. I know I've said it like I don't know how many times, probably in every video that I've done so far. But I want you to drink water, drink water, drink water, drink water. I don't, it's like so super important. At least two liters of water a day. Preferably half your body weight in ounces of water is what you need to be drinking each and every day. So if you're used to drinking Cokes or coffees or teas, it's going to seem like a ton of water that you're needing to drink. But doing this actually will help you feel better. It's going to help you relax. It's going to help you sleep better. Um, and then if you can remember to drink like at least eight ounces of water right before you go to bed and right when you wake up in the morning, the health benefits of that are even better. Um, another tip that I wanted to give is tip number six, and that is actually to go outside. And my kids are getting ready to walk through the door and be crazy. So y'all just ignore the craziness that's about to walk through my door. Right. Do AC up. There's Derek. Say hi, Derek. Hi. All right. <laughs> Goodbye, Derek. <laughs> um, another thing that you want to do is just be outside, y'all. Say hi to Danny. Hi, Danny. Hi. <laughs> um, being outside is awesome. So recommended times that I found actually kind of what, uh, varied anywhere between two and eight hours a day. So it's a big range, but you also got to keep in mind the factor that there's skin cancer out there. So if you you don't you don't want to be out there and not protecting yourself. So definitely you know get the vitamin D that you're getting from the sun, but also be cautious of skin cancer because you definitely you know you got to outweigh that. Make sense? All right, tip number seven, you guys, is to get quality sleep. Not hardly anybody gets enough sleep. The, you know, the real quality sleep each night. So what I mean by quality sleep is, is that there's no lights on in your room, okay? No sound, no background noise, no caffeine, at least six hours before bed. And don't work out or eat, um, like maybe say an hour before you go to sleep. Sleep is correlated to health. You have to have sleep and good, healthy sleep, right? All right, so eight, we got two more steps to do, two more uh, two more tips, I keep saying stuff, but number eight is you're going to meditate frequently, now whether you're meditating or praying, just have that quiet time that you have to yourself for just a few minutes, just to, you know, help you handle your emotions better, and it's going to help you feel more peaceful and more relaxed, not so stressed out. And the best time to actually meditate or pray is get like right before you go to bed, get on your knees, find a quiet place in your closet. My preacher goes to his closet, um, you know, whatever it might be. And just, you know, for a few minutes, just have that concentration and that breathing, right? Number nine is to smile a lot. Did you guys know it takes less muscles to smile than it actually does to sit and frown? And far people, uh, far too little people actually smile. I mean, you walk to the store and you walk inside and nobody smiles. I mean, everybody's usually just going about their business. So take time to smile. Smile often. Um, you know, if you put yourself in situations where you do smile a lot and that you're happy. You know, when you are um, fulfilled and happy, you're going to be motivated to do stuff throughout your day. Okay. So number 10, you guys, is actually my last, but my most important tip. And it has to do actually with the company that I'm with. I'm sure that you guys have like a pantry full um, or a cabinet full of different supplements and stuff that you've bought in, um, and have, you know, throughout the years. They just kind of collected. Um, I know I did. Um, or even vitamins, y'all. Um, there's actually no more of that, right? Don't do that anymore. Um, no more of what I call blind nutrition, okay? So if you want to know more about what I'm talking about for this tip number 10, I want you to drop the comment, boom, B-O-O-M, in the comments below, and I will get you some information. 
So that's it, you guys. I Like I said, I just wanted to jump on and give you some tips. You can take them or you can leave them and, you know, either live longer or don't. Whatever you want to do, right? But let's be healthy together, right? So if you found any value today, would you mind just clicking the share button? Um, I think it's like, a, like I said, I think it's to the left. Um, it really actually helps me grow my network. And, you know, like I said, if you've ever thought about doing what I do, just go ahead and drop the word business below. I'll get you some info. And in the meantime, if you guys have questions, let me know. Thanks for tuning in, and y'all have a great night. Bye.